Pa dobro, sigurno da nas je ovo sve, sve nas dosta pogodilo. Mislim, najviše te ljude koja, koje je ta tragedija zadesila. Edin Džeko's path to becoming an elite footballer is not your usual story. From losing his home to almost dying playing football. This is the Roma star's inspirational journey. Edin Džeko is the Bosnian GOAT. He's done it all. He's won a Bundesliga and a Premier League and was the top goal scorer in the 2016-2017 Serie A season. He's by far the Bosnian national team's greatest goal scorer. And he's done all of this despite growing up in a war zone. I was born in Sarajevo in the 80s. During the war, there were times when I had to stop playing football games in the streets because sirens went off and we'd have to hide. Edin Dzeko was six years old when all hell broke loose in his hometown of Sarajevo, capital of the newly founded Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, an event that kicked off the Bosnian War. As a little kid, you don't really understand the danger. At six years old, I knew what was happening, but honestly, I didn't think much about it. His city was blockaded, surrounded and sieged by the Yugoslavian army. This made them literal sitting ducks, trapped in their own city. Many tried to flee, but Jekko's family wasn't lucky. Their home was destroyed by the bombings, and they had to move in to the grandparents' house. The whole family was there, maybe 15 people staying in an apartment of about 35 square meters. Edin would play football in an open space by his grandparents' house. One day, his mother forbid him to do so. Little Edin couldn't understand it. He cried his eyes out. A few minutes after she had forbidden me to play football there, a bomb hit the place. Her intuition saved my life. To this day, his mother Velma insists she just had a hunch on that day. The war lasted almost four grueling years. When the war finally stopped four years later, everything was destroyed. There was no city left. I remember my father taking me to my first training at Zeleznichar. We were training at a high school because the club stadium had been destroyed. Football gave purpose to Eden's life during his tragic childhood. He had a dream of making it into Zeleznichar's first team and making his father proud. He had played football all his life, but never made it as a pro. When the call came in to tell Eden he was in the first team, he was with his father. That was a great moment for me, to be able to experience that with him, because he was with me from the first step. Really, every step to training after the war, we took together. He never took a step back, and soon he was breaking nets and lifting trophies on the greatest European stages. Dzeko has become an example for the dreamers in his nation. The first time Bosnia got to a World Cup, we made our debut at the Maracana against Argentina. It was like a dream came true, and something changed back home. When I was a kid growing up in Bosnia, our football idols were always players from different countries. But now, I go back to Sarajevo, and more and more, the kids are talking about Bosnian players, especially guys like Miralem Pjanic, and that makes me really happy. For him and his country, the former Manchester City player, he's sure the future is bright. I do not want to think about those times. War memories are not in my head. I prefer to look to the future.